because the area was used by children. Full of corrupt teachers. Don't send your child here unless you want them to have a mental health issue. Some of the complaints parents have posted about schools on social media. Now, unions say comments and accusations are putting unfair pressure on teachers. Ione Wells has been speaking to a former head who was threatened with violence. From restaurants to taxi drivers, hotels to online shopping, social media allows us to have our say on everything, good or bad. But is social media the place for parents to complain about their child's school or teacher? For one ex-head teacher in Bridgend, comments made by parents on social media had a devastating impact. The one that affected me uh, most of all uh, was, were, were comments uh, regarding myself. My staff came to me, some of my staff, who had seen what had been written on social media. Um, there were very derogatory comments uh, about myself. Some of them were threatening in nature and threatening my well-being. They leave you feeling very, very vulnerable with nowhere to turn. I, I spent a few weeks after that incident waking up in the night thinking about it. The kinds of posts really do vary. Posts on sites like Facebook, Twitter and Google reviews have ranged from mundane comments about playground snacks to serious accusations of violence. Teachers' unions say none of these should be acceptable. It's an unfair pressure um, in that uh, it, it's almost trial by social media rather than a proper um, careful investigation that looks at the issues, that tries to resolve the issues. But some parents believe schools need to engage with them on social media or parents will just start online discussions without them. I think still that schools are a little bit in broadcast mode. So you will find that they'll have an amazing Facebook page, for example, which every day will tell you how brilliant the school is, what marvellous things they're doing and how successful they are. But it won't allow you as a parent to, for example, post onto that page. So you feel a little bit locked out of the dialogue. I believe that if they led by example, that nastiness would actually disappear. As ever, budget constraints leave schools reluctant to spend any resources that could have been spent on pupils on social media. So whether social media is modernising the way that schools and parents interact or just asking for trouble, teachers' unions remain adamant that parents should go to schools directly rather than clicking post. Now, with better weather forecast for the weekend, our beaches are likely to be as busy as ever. But there's been a warning to be careful near sand dunes. Earlier in the week, a young girl became trapped when a dune collapsed on her at Newborough Beach on Anglesey. She escaped without serious injury, but the Coast Guard are warning it could have ended very differently. Here's Roger Pinney.